guys, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you guys are staying sane, and hopefully you guys are also making some good trades during these crazy quarantine times. So today we're going to do a little bit of math and lay the groundwork for a future video on how investment professionals calculate future stock prices. So today we're going to discuss the time value of money. You've probably heard this quote before, a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. Why? Why is a dollar worth more today than tomorrow? Here are two big reasons. One, it removes uncertainty. A dollar today means you can buy something immediately. You don't have to wait and potentially have that product be unavailable in the future or become more expensive in the future. And two, it gives you more control. Freedom to invest. A dollar today means that you can immediately invest it or save it with interest. So consider this example. Let's say your graduation is three years from now and your grandfather offers you a graduation gift and gives you a choice of either one, giving you $100 three years from now, or two, giving you $80 today. So which one would you pick? We are going to value each option using the time value of money concept. $100 in three years at graduation is a lot of money. However, there are risks and uncertainty associated with this $100. Uh, first of all, Grandpa might buy that new McLaren that he's been eyeing and end up having no money left to give you. Or, your mom might piss off Grandpa and Grandpa decides to give their, the money to your cousin. Or, you might not graduate, stuff happens, maybe an esports agent calls you. And most importantly, it's three years that you can't invest and control this money. Consider that in 2019, S&P 500 went up 28%. In 2018, it was down 6.58%. In 2017, it was up 18.74%. So if you had $80 on January 2017 and invested it in S&P 500, in three years, you would at the beginning of 2020 have $113.59 from $80. So in this case, if you had invested in the S&P 500, a relatively safe investment, $80 would be $113.59 in three years versus $100 given at the end of three years. This is because $80 now gives you the power to invest and take control versus $100 for money in the future that is both uncertainty in its availability and opportunity to invest. So let's take this scenario and look to the future. Let's say you think the S&P 500 will grow 10% annually. So we take the $100 and divide it by $1.10 each year. After three years, that would equal $75.13. So $100 three years from now is worth $75.13 today because of the opportunity to invest. So restated, do you want $75.13 today or time value of $100 three years from now or $80 today? That's the real choice. So I hope that helped you kind of understand the idea of the time value of money and how we calculate it using reverse compounding interest, similar to the previous video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave a question in the comments below and like and subscribe. In our next video, we'll apply this concept to value stocks.